guys. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see if I can get some pike. It's been so slow lately. All of the rivers around here have been totally blown out. It's been the waiting game, just waiting. What can you do? I mean, I live in Canada. That's just the way it goes sometimes. I know the river right now is dropping rapidly. So really soon, I'll be up at up at the Maitland, or I'll I'll be up at the Big River really soon. And uh, yeah, I mean. The fishing's going to be getting back to normal eventually, right? So, uh, I know there's a little creek near me. I'm going to go check it out for some pike. I was there the other day and I didn't get anything, but it's a really nice walk anyway. So, see if we can get something. If not, uh, you know, at least I'll get a nice walk outside. It's a pretty nice day out, a little brisk, but the sun's out. It's beautiful. So, yeah, it's always worth it being out, but I just can't wait for the fishing to turn on. I mean, it's been tough. It's been really tough, so, yeah, I mean, maybe today's the day. Alright, what are we going to have up here? <sighs> Hopefully the water's still good. I mean, I was here two days ago, I think. Uh, a lot better than everything else around me, so it's worth giving it a try anyway. All right, well, I'm going to be walking through some bush, but uh, at least it's, it's like the middle of winter. It looks really nice out, but the middle of the summer, you can't walk through this. Uh, I normally don't even try, <clears throat> but it's a nice little creek. Leads up to a dam at the end here. It's just outside of London. Uh, it's normally filled with juvenile pike. I've gotten some decent ones out here, though. If you can get in a boat and you can get all the way down there, it's a lot better, but... Uh, I can only make it to a certain distance down there by foot, but it's a nice little hole I can walk to. So, yeah, it's worth a try. Let's see what we can get out of there. Hey. <clears throat> that chartreuse would have been nice. That's okay. Might end up throwing a jerk bait. <clears throat> yeah, this is a really nice creek. Not only the water isn't this stained, I, uh, I wish I had that chartreuse uh, spinner bait that I lost the deer the other week. The other day in the tree, so that's what you get for that. It's all right. I'll probably work a fire tiger jerk bait or something to get their attention eventually if this doesn't. <clears throat> so yeah, I've never caught a bass in here, but there are normally a lot of pike. It's all I've ever seen. Oh, I haven't had a pike bite for a very long time though. I've just been uh, mainly trout fishing since uh, October, so I got a couple days in where we went for the ice fishing deal, but this year wasn't really that great. <clears throat> I don't know, I think I'll get more into ice fishing next year, but we didn't really have a great season for it this year around where I live. So 
So yeah, maybe I'll fast forward through some of this walking. Normally I'm on a boat when I'm doing that with my buddy and we're just kind of cruising down here and we don't spend too much time in this uh, upper part of the creek. We'll go down to the dam or we'll, uh, there's a nice wooded area that I might be able to show you guys right before, right before the big bend before the dam. I'm sure I'll be back out here in a boat with my buddy eventually. You can see what, uh, what I mean. but. Yeah, this is a really beautiful little creek if you get on a boat and you can get right through it. It's, uh, it's really nice. Down by the dam is where I've caught my biggest spike ever too, so... Always get a bit excited when I get here, but... Not really a pike fisherman, I'm a, I'm a chug guy. You can see what I'm saying here, guys, I mean... Winter just broke, and it's still pretty treacherous trying to get through here. This is really thick in the summer. You're not, you're not gonna be fishing this once the green comes out. Gotta fish it while you can. You gotta be on the boat. This, this land fishing around here is not working very well. <laughs> here we go. Coming up to the better spot. I'm gonna hit this little piece of it first, but. We'd love to get a bite or a follow or just to see a fish at this point. It's been a while. This river is beautiful compared to what I've been seeing lately. So it really, I, I would love to see just a fish follow. That'd be amazing. There's a nice little isolated stump over there. I'm not getting close enough to it though. It is beautiful out. I can't believe it's winter. This is just... I can't remember ever experiencing weather like this. You know, I almost wonder if the fish aren't here right now because normally... Normally you're getting a bite every once in a while no matter what because there, there's a bunch of juveniles here that aren't, aren't, aren't the brightest yet. You know, but maybe they're all over by the dam where it's deep right now because they do think it's still winter, even though it's been 14 degrees for a while. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what it's like. I mean, maybe not you Americans, but uh, maybe you guys too. But, you know, just going through rough patches where the river blows out everywhere around you. Bass are out of season. It's just a waiting game. I mean, it always turns back on. And I know the river's gonna come down real soon. When it does, my trout fishing is gonna be insane. And you guys are gonna wanna 
watch out for that because, uh, wow, I wish I had my cameras rolling in October through December because this last season was really good. I'm hoping for another one of those come spring because, uh, yeah, when the trout turn on, it's really exciting. So, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys some of that, some of that trout fish around my area because it's definitely, it's really fun. It's awesome. But for now, let's get a pike. I mean, this is definitely one of the most scenic places I have that's really close to the city like this. I love it out here. I hope I get a few good shots of uh, just really how how nice it is out here. Yeah, I just don't think the pike are here right now. Um, I'm making it pushed up closer to the dam where it's deep. Because they probably all think it's still winter. So, this video is here and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If I do post this, just know that really soon the river is going to be going down and fishing should be off the hook soon. So, I do have a lot of good fishing to look forward to. It's not the end of the world to get skunked. So, I'll have another one out soon. Thanks for watching. Yeah.